with meteorologist Gino Recchia. A little gloomy on this Sunday where we had a few light rain showers passing through the air. You could see the pavement pretty wet, but as we went on into the afternoon hours, most of that steady rainfall has moved out, but we still have had a few isolated spots of a couple sprinkles passing through the area, and that's going to be the case for the next several hours tonight. Now, as we turn the page into tomorrow and over the next few days, our temperatures will be gradually warming up into the lower and mid 50s, but then we'll start to cool back down below average as we're getting into the rest of the work week with temperatures back into the at 40. So if you like the 50s, enjoy Monday through Wednesday. Wednesday, matter of fact, looks to be the warmest day of the week and happens to be Halloween as well. 43 was a high temperature in Anago, 47 in Green Bay, 45 in Oconto, near 50 degrees down towards Sheboygan, 48 in both Oshkosh and Fond du Lac. And because we were below average, we're going to tack on another day of the below average trend. Through the 28th, coolest start since uh, the 2009 year. And if you're kind of curious, you know, how did the winter shape up to be in 2009? Well, it ended up being about uh, lower 50s, about 52, 53 inches of snowfall, which is our average for this, uh, uh, the average for the year. So nothing too crazy. Now, does that mean we could see that amount of snowfall this year? Well, not necessarily. It's pretty much... Uh, uh, you could see more, you could see less, or you could see right on par. It's uh, interesting to see with, with this El Nino pattern setting up. 46 degrees right now, north and northwest wind at 9 miles per hour, sunset at 547 p.m. Temperatures have cooled off just a few degrees, not too significantly because we have that cloud cover acting as a thermal blanket right now. Winds have changed out of the northwest. Earlier yesterday, they were out of the northeast, but once that system has passed through, we're starting to see some of that cooler air start to work its way in here. But high pressure will start to return by tomorrow, move all this moisture out of the area. A few scattered rain showers remain in place across parts of the Badger State, especially the eastern quadrant. Farther towards the west, we are starting to see some gradual clearing. Even Minnesota, Iowa seeing some clearing skies. Now, even though high pressure will start to work its way in here, there still will be some residual cloud cover during the day tomorrow. So I'm thinking anywhere from about partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. It looks like on Tuesday, especially on Wednesday, Wednesday looks to be the most sunny day of them all. Here's where that high pressure is right now. So it's not moving overhead anytime soon. That's why we will stick around with the cloudy skies. So just enough of an influence to keep all the moisture away from us. But at least the good news is there's milder air that's working its way in here from the west and the southwest. 53 in Minneapolis today. A little chilly though up towards International Falls, 39, 37 in Marquette and mid 40s here in the uh, northeast Wisconsin. So for tonight, we see a few isolated rain showers, then those pretty much diminish. We wake up tomorrow morning with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And then, then uh, during the day tomorrow, looks like we start to see that cloud cover erode, but that cloud cover it still sticks around over parts of the Badger State, and it does look like on Tuesday, some parts of the year, it could actually have a little bit of rainfall. It looks like a system will be starting to move in here. Most of it will pass down to the south, as you can see over parts of uh, the east, uh, the other side of Lake Michigan, but can't rule out an isolated rain shower during the day on Tuesday. So for tonight, 40 degrees, northwest winds, 5 to 8 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, we'll warm up to high right around 51. That's our average for this time of year. West and southwest winds, 4 to 8 miles per hour. Tuesday, an isolated rain shower possible. And then on Wednesday, looking not too bad. 55 for your Halloween, mostly sunny skies. Then mostly cloudy Thursday through Saturday. And does look like an, our next shot of rainfall comes in on Sunday, Matt, with highs in the mid-40s. Now, there is the uh, potential that could be a, a strong fall storm that moves mm. in here. And there's some models saying over western Wisconsin, even Minnesota, they could get uh, several inches of snowfall out of it. We're in the warm sector right now, though. You said fall storm. I'm like, okay, it's not a winter storm. It'll yeah. just be rain. Yeah. Then you drop the snow bomb on So I, I didn't say winter because obviously we're not in winter yet. So fall snowstorm. There you go. Cool. Looking forward yeah. to that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Gino.